So that's a four iron. And that was a five iron. That's a four iron. And that's a five iron. So if you've not got the gist of things already before here's another four and then five iron, then let me briefly explain. We're gonna be looking at why one of these two golf clubs is likely to be very much redundant in your golf bag. I've got data to back it up. We're also gonna have a look out on the course and why, like I said, you should be seriously considering your options at this long end of the bag. And I've also got a solution. Right, before we go any further, let's have a look at the data that I collected in the swing studio here at Hollywell Golf Club. So, I hit, uh, well, I hit a number of shots. I think we capped it off at five each. I was hitting the ball reasonably well. And let's start off, first of all, with the four iron. I had an average carry distance of 187 and a half yards, ball speed of 119, launching 17.4, and a land angle of 38.9 degrees. Now in all, honest, in all honesty, as four irons go, I'm more than happy, I'm pretty much where I'd expect to be with a four iron. But then I swapped into the five iron, and what you'll see, and important there, 81.5 mile an hour was the average club head speed. Average club head speed with a five iron was 81.4, so almost identical. We gain a yard extra carry. We launch it slightly higher at 18.1. We get a better descent angle at 41 degrees, and we get a slightly higher uh, spin number at 3.2. Now, again, the spin number thing is something that indoor and off a mat is something that's a little bit debatable. So I'm gonna push that one to one side. But straight away, what we've learned here over just a few shots is that my five iron goes exactly the same distance as my four iron. In fact, on average, it goes one yard longer. It's also got a better launch angle. It's got a better descent angle and arguably it's got a better spin number as well. So straight away, we've got a problem. I've got a club in my bag that's pretty much redundant. I should never be carrying a four iron. As it uh, happens, I don't either. So how did I solve this problem and how should you? So we've introduced a new club into the equation and that was in fact a four hybrid, a 22 degree hybrid. And you can see if I carry on pacing out, we've got about 16, 17, maybe 18 yards longer than where my five iron ended up. And if you go back to the data, that's not too dissimilar than what we saw. Obviously we've landed in the rough with the five iron, we've hit the fair with the hybrid and it's gone a little bit further. But there are two reasons why the hybrid is a real interesting um, addition to your bag and why is it so easier to play for most golfers. So from a data perspective, this is what happened when we put the four hybrid into play. First off, we got an average carry distance of 200 yards. So we've gone 12 yards longer than my five iron. That's perfect gapping for me. We've got a 126 ball speed launching 17.2. Spin number very similar to what it said on a four iron, uh, five iron rather, and also descent angle is similar as well. Slightly faster club head speed, and not forgetting there's a slightly longer shaft in the hybrid, which will equate to that. But well, the difference being out here on a golf course is a few shots that you'll see now is they're just so much easier to play from the tee, so much more confidence. I've got a bit more bulk and mass behind the club head and that is why it's a perfect option from the four iron. But how does it work on the fairways and why is it such a good option for most average golfers? So I've got to say that that's probably one of the best shots I've ever hit on this golf hole from that far out. It was the hybrid. I'm not sure where it pitched in, but it certainly finished pin iron. I'd be delighted with that. And I was more than happy with the five iron. And yet again, the difference between the two was very, very similar. We've got a nice gap in the yardage. But what does the five hybrid, or the four hybrid rather, bring to the table that isn't in the four iron? 
Well, first of all, there's some bulk and mass which allows manufacturers to place the CG, the weight, into the back of the head, which allows the ball to get airborne a little easier. And you'll see a much higher ball flight coming off this four hybrid than the five iron, even though the lofts of both are very, very similar. But what you'll also see is that the ball speeds are a little bit faster and we're starting to get that difference in distance between the two, which is obviously important for the gapping. So for me, in almost every average golfer's bag, I certainly go back to that anyone who swings driver club head less than 100 mile an hour, you should seriously think about what's going on at the top end of your golf bag. And if you've got a four iron in it, I reckon you're probably wasting a club because you haven't got the club head speed to generate the difference that you need to make use of that strong loft. And uh, seriously start considering your options. And for me, the hybrid has been the perfect alternative. It might necessarily be for you, but you don't want clubs in your golf bag that are just sitting there gathering cobwebs. And don't forget, check out your swing speed, check out the distance of the two, have a look how many times you've last used your four iron in a bag. And if it's not being used, get it out, get it sorted, and get something that works for you. Right, that's me done. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm gonna leave it there because to be honest with you, that 5.4 hybrid doesn't get any better than that. Majestic. <laughs>